What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel, another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do daily videos, there's a lot of guides, a lot of strategies. Make sure to tell your alliance about this channel because you will take over your kingdom and you will be much better prepared to deal with the evil from the east. Alright guys, let's go ahead and uh, check out this new Heroes Trial. So, the Heroes Trial came out today. As you guys know, I did a uh, leak. There was a leak that came out um, about it. Now, the game's not letting me update but i think it's already like i think i'm already updated it's just like glitched or something but uh let's see where it talks about the hero trials there's a hero trials new feature for the hero palace hero trials by clearing the stages of the heroes related items including hero shards experience materials so basically what this is is probably gonna be just like the um ancient dragon tower the trials there but instead of getting stuff for your dragon you're going to get stuff here for your hero. Okay, now I do have some news about this building here. This is the one that, uh, it's basically like a research stone workshop. So that's where you're going to get the research stones to get your science down here. To get the elite troops and the medical treatment sciences. That's what that's going to be for. So, um, that's good. I think another building they should put out is for, um, equipment, um, you know, the blueprints. I think they need to have more blueprints because those are really hard to get as well. So let's go ahead and check out the hero trials. See if we can um, figure anything out about them right now. All right. So we're going to attack the first one. Ooh. Ancient weapon blueprint. I'll take. I'll take. All right. Let's see. How, okay. Yep. Looks just like the uh, looks just like the other trial, don't it? Let's see how far we can get. Now, someone told me that you do have to spend your own resources to heal, which I'm not a fan of. That's uh, a little bit ridiculous. 20 shards i mean that's um you guys know that's a decent amount of shards really i wish i i need to speed up you know what i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna speed up my hero so that way i can send him in my marches probably save me a little bit of healing and stuff also a couple of you guys told me in the comments that when you use these speed ups if you just hold your finger down it will just keep going wow yeah they're right goes a little bit too fast though right you would you can accidentally use like if you're using one hour speed ups you can accidentally use more than um, you wanted to what's this little plus mean confirm to buy more challenge times you can purchase another three times today all right um i'm not sure what that's all about you have no hero to send out oh it's still garrison hang on hang on all right hero's idle now let's get back in there and we're gonna send our hero with our marches now did anyone find out if the what do you mean i have no hero to send out we'll figure that out if anyone knows why i can't send my hero please let me know in the comment section below because i do find out a lot of things in the game from you all i don't i don't know everything and i'm not i'm not as deeply entrenched in the game as i once was so um you know back in the day back in my like earlier videos i basically knew everything that uh i knew everything that was coming into the game like if before it was even in the game and i paid a close attention and made videos on all of it but now i'm lacking that all right so 35 shards that's these are pretty good shards they're giving us and then um we get these other shards as well you know what i should have done i'm a little bit silly sometimes i should have really put on my level 25 orange glass because i don't i already don't have my attack and 20 percent attack and defense buffs on so these extra buffs will help and that way i'm going to be healing less so make sure you put you don't have to use your like buffs that cost stuff but use all your equipment and everything make sure to at least do that because it's just like in a real battle I, i'm still bummed out why i can't send my heroes see i'm sending thirty thousand more troops just from my uh piece of equipment there and i probably have another 30 30 percent attack so yeah it's pretty pretty important okay now we're starting to get the hr officer these recruitment cards are how you get more heroes um so those are really important wait up here so i gotta buy more challenges huh let's go see how many wounded troops we've got real quick wow eight hours of healing huh you know what maybe i shouldn't be sending any guards in these marches because i'm taking a lot of wounded guards i'm not gonna send any five thousand I'm only sending 5,000 in each. How do I have so many wounded? Wounded then. 
Doesn't make too much sense, does it? How do I have so many wounded guards? Well, yeah, 25,000 sounds about right. We'll heal after. I don't think that's going to hurt us. I don't think we're going to go over hospital capacity, so it's going to cost 1,000 gold. Alright, we've got three more challenges. Let's see how it goes. I would recommend sending your best troops. This isn't like a real battle where when you lose some troops, it's better to lose like 5,000 T7 guard than 1,000 T10 Berserker. Um, okay, we got 15 more shards there. Oh, I gotta upgrade my hero palace to get to a higher level. I see, I see. Look at this. This goes all the way down to 26, 27, 28. The thing is, is that now people that can afford to upgrade this hero palace really high are going to have a big advantage on everybody else. So I don't like that. And I don't like how I just spent a thousand gold um, and it's not letting me upgrade any higher. So I'm not too happy about that either. Let's go ahead and put all that. Okay, we got 17. Um, like I said, guys, I recommend putting about, if you're already at 45 lore, I would put all of your skill points into the heroes but if you're not yet um above it then you know it's not really a big deal so bernard is wielding the whip like crazy he just want to please the king building speed increase all right you already know what i think i really want this archer attack so we'll be upgrading um another thing you could do uh is that when you're like when you're defending the throne you could put everything into defense you can put as much into defense as you can um, grab that cavalry defense, um, of course, right there. And then grab that defense, the infantry. Just get your infantry really, really strong. Um, so just remember that you can always move your buffs around to accommodate what you need to do. So like um, on dual attacks, I've got this elven longbow for the double siege and uh, archer attack. And then I've got the, right here, I've got the archer and siege in the knight's visor instead of the infantry cavalry siege on the peerless helmet so um i do have things to switch and then i'll also have my level 30 glass so that way i can switch it as well um let me see if there's anything else in the update that um we haven't talked about yet by the way guys the dragon campaign live stream will be on twitch tomorrow at 1 a.m eastern standard time i know it's late but that might help a lot of you guys that are in like europe or um, um the middle east anywhere else in the world um, we've got people from all over so it might help you to be able to come and watch a stream because a lot of times it's really late, especially in Europe too. It'll be early morning in Europe if you want to get up and uh, hang out with us. It'll be over on Twitch.tv. Unless I got my YouTube stuff figured out by then. So let's take a look at the rest of this. You can upgrade the dragon skills. Um, higher levels. Alright, so we already looked at the dragon skills and stuff. Let me show you those. Let me show you those real quick. Um, here's the skills. You can see all of these different skills. A lot of, a lot of different ones. Um... Soldiers being attacked by the dragon breath will die directly. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, you get 10% chance of killing the person's troops. I mean, I don't really like this stuff, guys, where it gives them a chance to die. Because it's not really fair if someone gets hit and now they can lose their wounded troops. Like, I don't like stuff like that. I think um, it really hurts, hurts the game because that's just going to um, produce more bullying and stuff. So, you guys know I'm not a fan of that. Decrease the consumption of healing soldiers by 5%. You can put the astral on when you're healing. Marching speed increased by 10%. If you got a really far march, you can put that tailwind on. Increase siege attack by one point. War command looks like the best one so far. Infantry um, dragon guardian infantry level one. That will be great for like throne wars. If you're in the throne and you're defending, or in ancient battlefield and you're defending, pop that boy on. The leader plus 2,500 marching troops. That's probably going to be my like uh, main one that I would use. Dragon guardian cavalry level one. Dragon Guardian Archer level 1. So I'm, it says level 1, so I'm assuming you can upgrade these as well. Archer Defense. That's a really good one to get as well, as well as the Cavalry. I'm not sure which one of those will be better. We'll do some testing in beta and find out for you guys. Um, that That's a really good idea. I'm going to go test all this stuff in beta, probably tonight. Um, Ring of Frost. Uh, decrease the enemy's defense by 10%. For 10 rounds, activate chance 20%. I'm not sure what that means, but decrease the defense by 10%. Probably will help. Uh, single troop training plus 300. It's good for training troops. Troop load plus 10%. Good for gathering the super mine and for plundering. Dragon Guardian. Um, siege defense plus 7%. Uh, that's higher than the 6% we saw below. 
Building speed, 7%. That's obvious. You can use it for uh, building. That's the Dragon Wheel. Fearless Charge. Increased Cavalry's Charge by 5%. That's a pretty good one. Um, that Cavalry Charge helps a lot. I mean, it, it definitely makes a big difference. I've seen it in my own skill points. Um, Dragon Spiritual, level 1. Um, research speed, plus 6%. Increased Hospital Capacity by 10,000. And I don't know when you'll really could use that. Maybe if you're like eating a rally, but probably some of these defenses would be better. Stamina recovery speed, 6% for Dragon Friendship. That's good for hitting monsters. Increased cavalry attack by 2. It's pretty good um, buff. Um, healing Blessing, healing speed, 6%. And Inspiring Blessing, training speed, 6%. That'll be great for training troops and development. So it's not open yet. Um, so maybe I need to update to actually get like really into them because i can't it's not letting me like switch or anything um well maybe it's because my dragon is the bond is so low i the dragon's bond goes down way too fast like um i was really keeping up on it too i was doing a good job um what's that the green thing let's just say current dragon is your guardian okay let me see if i can upgrade it yet nope i don't even have nearly enough dragon stones let's check my dragon stones items uh, see i made those orange ones so now it gets really difficult to so i've got 19 and what i got 22 how many did i need so i'm only nine away i'll do some uh these uh trials and figure it out so yeah guys thank you so so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you guys if you can do me a big favor please help me just if you don't like clash royale just click my clash royale videos so that way it gets a view um and then you can leave like take 10 seconds to click that video guys because they're not getting very many views yet i'm trying to break into the clash royale community but you guys have my back in the clash king community you know i've done really well here but if i want to reach my potential then i have to branch out into other games as well i'm always going to do daily clash kings videos for you guys I'm uh, streaming the Dragon Campaign Tournament on December 10th. We're going to have some really good content coming in the future. But just help me out, guys. I really need the help. So um, maybe if they start to get some views, I'll be able to actually um, get some attention over in Clash Royale. So help your boy out, man. And uh, I'll never forget you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Teamwork does make the dream work. Smash the thumbs up button as well. If you can, just click one of those Clash Royale videos. I've only got like maybe a thousand Clash Royale subscribers. So it's pretty difficult right now for me. But... You guys always have my back. Thank you so much. If you want to click some videos on the screen right now, do that. Hit the middle button in the middle right there to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later on with another video. Peace.